You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby I love it. I do give fashion advice. I love fashion in general and I do give advice twice a week. But I do have Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, Snapchat as well as my new website which is www.eprintshop.com which is going to be right here somewhere in the screen. Uh, I do have my second lookbook digital magazine that is fully ready ready for you to actually take it and it's really interesting love the end result Te technically a lot of like outfits when it comes to like jackets and a lot of tips when it comes to skincare during winter because our own skincare routine but i think it's so important to take care of this skin during winter with it's so when it's so cold and dry outside every outfit that you're gonna see has clickable links so if you ever like it you can click directly on my lookbook magazine and then get the website directly so this is even like better right i i hope so <laughs> today was gonna be the second part of the jacket if you haven't yet please check out the first video that was at the beginning of the week which was all about like jackets outfit inspiration <laughs> like in my digital like magazine so i actually had another jacket that I didn't show you in the first part. As for the jacket for this one, it's, it was gonna be like two jackets as well, but it was two jackets as well. One was brown, the other one was like dark grey. Like we already saw it in the first video of this week, so no need to say more to it, but I'm just gonna show it to you. But uh, yeah, the first jacket was this one from Zara which I love so much. It's all dark brown and black 
but I definitely love one. I love the thickness of it and I love the heaviness of it. Uh, this is definitely a trendy one. And what you can see is like a full full jacket, but here we have like a letter here and then letter on the sleeves. Love it. I think it's so edgy. I love this tie out together. And it was an extra small. It was originally at 149 Canadian dollars and I got it at 79.99 Canadian dollars. I think it was like a really good deal and I'm really happy about it. It's so soft as well. Yeah. As for the grey one, I showed you that in the first video, so I don't think I should say more to it. It was from Zara as well and uh, it was originally a $69.90 and I bought it at $39.99 Canadian dollars. My side here is this small and for the other one it was the extra small. And of course everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. As usual. Like I said on the first video, I really love the bottom of it and I think it's definitely trendy but definitely stylish. It's kind of, it has that kind of sophisticated vibe but again you can dress it up and you can dress it down and I love the option of it. Now let's get to the part when I'm gonna show you the outfit and show you what I did the way I did. Let's go. The first one was with the dark jacket, the brown one, and the top here is this one all pretty from Zara I love the color I love the creaminess of it and it's actually thicker than what I thought I bought it a couple of months ago and I don't remember the price if I do find it I'm gonna link it down in the description box below. of course I paired it with something much more like top top-ish type of color. I did love the combination of these two but at first I was not super convinced by it but then again when you add this gray dark jacket it's really nice because they actually have all the colors in, the ja in this jacket. You have the brown, you have the black and of course you have like just the texture of it combined to this one everything was just really really well put together to me not super dark because the jacket was so dark that i really wanted to add a bit more like brightness to it that's why i didn't want to add even like darker color or even dark colors to it and a bit of texture as well although the jacket was already textured i think the little pearls had that kind of feminine side to it but you let me know what you think, I really love it. The second outfit that I paired with my dark jacket was this really nice top from Zara. I bought it a couple of months ago, probably at the beginning of fall, if I remember. I paired it with the leather pants from uh, Vera Moda. It's my go-to pants when it comes to something, when I don't want to think too much about anything, when I want to dress up. I always, always, always use this pants because it's super like, super soft to the skin, first of all. And then I think it always, always adds that kind of texture to it. With the gold green details of the top, I thought with the jacket again, we have that kind of brightness to it but not as bright as the first outfit that actually used some. This one was a little bit darker, a little bit more on the golden greenish side. Again, the jacket, it's a dark brown black type of color, so it's kind of like basic color, so everything that is warm as far as colors, it would really go well with it. It has that kind of warm flow. Now, when it comes to the great boots, my first outfit, was this top from Boohoo. It's actually green, cropped here on the shoulders, and I bought it last, not actually last year, the year before last year. And it's a kind of top that you can find a bit of every, everywhere. It's a really nice light green, not too like much, not too dark either. Of course, to add that kind of brightness, I add this really nice skirt from uh, I think it was misguided if I remember. If you can see the pearl here, but um, they actually has kind of pearls, but I think the brightness of the camera is actually hiding every kind of pearl that actually is on the skirt. I usually go with like basic colors, but this time everything was plain, everything was light, everything was actually not as dark. I think they are actually flattering each other super well. They actually here 
is really good with the green because the green is super light and super like cold if I could say it as a color and the grey jacket is a good basic for any type of like light color, cold color and we can talk about like light blue, light green it was really flattering the shade of it and it was super nice as far as being like cold but with a really nice pop of color because here I'm just trying to give you like options it's like options and idea so take it as options everything that you want to do it's just my advice here to actually be able to combine everything that you already have in your wardrobe so any type of like cold color any type of basic color as far as like gray dark brown or dark or black at all you can actually combine them so much easier when it comes to like plain colors when you don't want to add too much texture and again it's gonna look super the last outfit that I had this nice top from um, Dynamite I bought it so long time ago actually it's my go-to top when I want to look cute but simple <laughs> super nice jean from the lovely details of this shape I love it so much this time it was much more like laid back much more like easy going still added my really nice bag from Sarah as well that you saw at the beginning of the week and it was part of my boxing day shopping I do find it I'm still gonna like link it in the description box below so uh, don't worry about it get the combination of these three it's really nice because again like I said at the beginning of the video this bag has so many colors that actually can tie up so many other colors that you want to add it's really nice super modern when it comes to it super small so super like sophisticated modern you add this really nice jacket to the whole easygoing type of outfit it definitely gives you that kind of super extra sophisticated vibe because you were super easy going, super relaxed but then again you add that kind of sophisticated touch to it and uh, that is definitely something that I like to do more and more now always being super girly, super feminine and I love it of course but now I'm trying to actually incorporate more like type of easygoing type of outfit because I know I love to dress up a lot so to me being sophisticated every day is not a problem for me I would look sophisticated, I would look super casual chic or even chic every day I don't mind at all and add something more chic to the whole outfit to actually make it look more casual chic and not too chic for those who are actually not fan of being chic every single day I think that's it for today for this week I hope you really enjoyed it please let me know what was your favorite outfit don't hesitate to comment at all if you do like my outfit if you do like my style let me know I'll be more than glad to actually know it I wanted to say hello to my new subscribers because I've had some recently so welcome to my channel thanks for subscribing you're definitely not gonna regret this and I'm really happy you actually love my style and if I can inspire you that's my job that's my role and that's something that I really 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 do enjoy a lot and until then I will see you next week as usual on my Tuesday video gonna be even more and more and more and more and more you know I'm gonna be with a smile and with a really good vibe and energy that I'm trying to bring here so have a good weekend I'll see you next week and smile because it's free